The University of Arlington women's basketball season is almost over. But if you've attended any games, you might have noticed that they only have one senior, Bianca Sauls. She is a senior, uh, but we, we think of her as a first-year player because she hadn't played in four years. Sauls, who is leading the team in points, rebounds, and minutes played, has been a great addition to the Mavericks this year. Her journey to playing college basketball has not been the norm. Her high school coach was a very good friend of mine and said, hey, this kid wants to play volleyball instead of basketball in college. you got to come and see her. Women's volleyball head coach Diane Seymour did just that, and to her surprise... She had four tremendous years for us in the volleyball program. She was all-conference, all-academic, all-conference, um, and she was just a great kid to have in your gym. Saul's senior year in the UTA volleyball program was second to none, averaging eight kills, four assists, ten digs, and one ace per contest. But Seymour says she still saw the fire of hoop dreams in Bianca's heart. I think basketball might be her true love. Even when she played for us for those four years, it was not uncommon to see Bianca over here at the MAC shooting, playing pickup games to stay in shape. Here at the Mavericks Activity Center, Coach Miles says she was able to judge Bianca's ability by her playing pickup against other college athletes. But says even before Bianca stepped foot on campus, she knew she was going to be an exceptional college basketball player. I mean, when I was coaching in high school, I coached against her. Okay. And I knew then she was a phenomenal player. And I thought she was a better basketball player than volleyball player. After graduating in her four years, Saul stayed around campus, often working out in the MAC over the summer. With one scholarship left in her program, Merle told her assistant coaches to keep an eye on Saul's. Once they saw her, they knew she would be a good fit. I really wasn't planning to play basketball. Um, I really wasn't doing it. I was working four jobs during the summer after I graduated. And, you know, I was kind of tired of it. And so the coaches came to me with an option of playing for another year of basketball, so I took it. Sauls has made every minute of her short college basketball career count. A testament her coach says is her best attribute, but also wonders what if. Four years of basketball, she would have been easily a contending for some superlatives in our conference. With her college volleyball career over, Bianca says she's focusing on basketball now, but her passion still remains in volleyball. I really like volleyball, and I, I think that was, you know, one of the reasons why I chose it to play in college. I'm Cornelius Thompson for UTA News.